Armageddon Survival Plan, the key. For printed version please contact jar at jar truth dot net. Chapter 6. Abraham, Lot and Sodom and Gomorrah. Noah's descendants fell, once again, into the same old trap, that had them kicked out of heaven in the first place, that is listening to, and being deceived, by the devil's lies, and, because of it, they gradually became more and more evil, again. Eventually, God singled out Abraham, for special training, because he loved God and always strove to do his will, and was sickened by the idolatry, and evil way of life, of his nation. Genesis 12, verse 1, through 43, verse 26. God told Abraham to leave his people, so he did, and he renounced his nationality, and his people's religion, idolatry and superstitions, and he became an adopted child of God, and a true believer. He separated himself completely from them, to live apart with God, doing God's will and learning to be good. Lot, whose dad was dead, was Abraham's nephew, and was also a believer, went with Abraham. They took their households, animals and belongings, left and crossed over the great river Euphrates, which was, to them, symbolically, as the flood was to Noah. Joshua 24. After living between Bethel and Hai, for some time, Lot's and Abraham's cattle herdsmen began to quarrel, because there was not enough room, for both of their herds to graze. Abraham and Lot decided to separate, so that they would not be drawn into fighting each other, because they had great respect and love for each other, being brothers in their respect and love for God, and Abraham's body being the uncle of Lot's body. Lot went to the plains, where the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah were built, and Abraham went to Canaan. Later on, God told Abraham, that he would make an agreement, covenant, contract, with him and his family, and that, as a sign of this agreement, all the males of his household should be circumcised, from eight days old, signed in blood and symbolizing sacrifice of the flesh. God did this because the world had become evil again, and Abraham's household was surrounded, by perverted and depraved peoples, who were enslaved by fornication, so God decided to help them resist temptation. The circumcising would help to achieve this, by making the sex organ less sensitive, to try to reduce their sex drive, and, hopefully, help to push them towards a better understanding of spiritual love. Circumcision itself is of no great importance, it is faith and love that are important. Galatians 5, verse 6. However, it would also have been more hygienic, in that part of the world with the heat and scarcity of water. The cities of Sodom and Gomorrah were totally out of control, so God decided to destroy them, completely, souls and all. Sodom, as the name indicates, was full of sodomites, homosexuals, committing the abominable crime of sodomy, and Gomorrah was full of perversion and promiscuity. Genesis 19, verse 1 to 29. Sura 7, verse 80 and 81 and Sura 15, verse 61 to 77. Lot lived on the outskirts of Sodom, but he was not a sodomite slash homosexual, so the Lord sent two angels, in the appearance of handsome young men, to save him and his family. The angels came and communicated with Lot, by telepathy, and Lot, not wanting them to be troubled, by the sodomites, homosexuals, rushed them into his house. The angels said that they would stay in the street, all night. Being angels, they did not need sleep, and they knew that the sodomites, homosexuals could do them no harm. However, Lot insisted, so the angels stayed inside, and accepted his kind hospitality. The queers had seen the angels, and they came to Lot's house, and surrounded it demanding that Lot should bring the handsome young men out, so that the queers could force them to submit to being sodomized, raped. Lot went out, to plead with the queers, to go away, and take women instead, and not to embarrass and shame him, in front of his guests. He closed the door behind himself, 
to protect the angels from the queers slash sodomites. The queers became angry with Lot, because he was not one of them, and was not a local either, and they threatened to do worse to Lot, than to the strangers, angels. On hearing this, the angels dragged Lot back inside, and struck the queers blind, so that they wandered around lost, and could not find the door to Lot's house. In the morning the two angels pulled Lot, his wife and two daughters, out of the house, telling them to leave and not to look back, because they were going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. The angels then destroyed the two cities, with a terrible blast, fire, and it so totally annihilated them, that, to this day, although it is known roughly where they were situated, absolutely no trace of them has ever been found. Genesis 19, verse 24, Surah 15, verse 76 and 77. The blast was far more efficient, than any crude nuclear weapon, and destroyed not only the cities, and everything in them, but also the bodies and souls of the inhabitants. Lot's wife looked back, and, because the eyes are the window of the soul. Luke 11, verse 34, the blast fire entered through her eyes, destroying her soul and turning her into a pillar of salt. Since then, for thousands of years, sodomy, homosexuality has always been unlawful. Deuteronomy 23, verse 17, carrying the death penalty. Leviticus 20, verse 13, and also regarded as immoral until the last generation, when man has had the audacity, not only to make it legal, but has tried to make it acceptable, if not compulsory, and it is now also rapidly becoming illegal to be a man. It is very sad, that, after working so hard to become a man, over thousands of years, and finally making it, they then find out that it is much harder to be a man, and they try to go backwards and they are readily accepted and welcomed back, by women. A queer is a relatively new man, who decides that being a man is too difficult, and so, decides to try to be a woman, in a man's body. Some even go to the extent of having themselves surgically castrated, voluntarily. Deuteronomy 23, verse 1, and they will be punished, accordingly. You cannot go backwards you are all under the shadow of the death sentence, your only escape is forwards. John 3, verse 18. It was easy to destroy the queers slash sodomites slash homosexuals, in Sodom, because they were all concentrated in one place, and God could easily remove Lot and his family, and then destroy Sodom, without hurting any innocent people. Today, it is so widespread and intermixed with normal society that God cannot blast just them, without hurting too many innocent, question mark, people, so he has sent aids. Leviticus 20, verse 13, Romans 1, verse 27. Open your eyes and see the signs, and turn the round, before it is too late. Unfortunately aids has also attacked other non-believers, too, and once it has attacked enough innocent, question mark, people. Perhaps man will revert to making homosexuality slash sodomy illegal again, and live by God's laws, and not his own unlawful ones. Gomorrah was destroyed, because of its promiscuity, perversion and sexual exhibitionism, and because it was controlled by sexual, instead of love values. It is very sad, that people do not know the difference, between sex and love. One million tons of sex will never equal one ounce, or gram, of love. Unfortunately, millions of people spend lifetimes looking for love, and, because they don't know the difference, they mistakenly find sex. When they don't get the spiritual satisfaction, that they are seeking, they try harder, and mistakenly think, that, if they get enough sex, it will bring them spiritual, real, satisfaction, and it will not. It is a vicious circle. There are three kinds of sex, 1. Sex, pure animal lust. 2. Sex with feeling. 3. Love. No amount of the first two, combined, will ever equal the third. How can anyone expect to find love, when they are looking in all the wrong places? Look up, not down.
how can you expect to see what is above you, when you are always looking downwards? Love is spiritual, and sex is animal. When the soul controls the animal, uses it for the benefit of another in true love, and giving instead of taking, the act of making love, becomes the nearest thing to heaven on earth. The loving of two spirits, both in control of their animal bodies, and being totally unselfish, wanting only to give pleasure and love to their partner, asking nothing in return, uniting both bodies and souls, as much as is possible within human limitations, is the most heavenly experience possible on earth, and is out of this world. Gomorrah was destroyed at the same time as Sodom, with a weapon so sophisticated, that it is beyond human comprehension, and is nothing like silly, crude, human weapons, including nuclear weapons. The weapons on earth are crude, children's toys, that go bang, and can kill human animals. The ability to destroy a planet, nuclear weapons, is insignificant, compared to the power of the force. God does not need crude, nuclear weapons. If he just thinks it, everyone is dead. Who do you think decides, when a person's body will die, and then makes it happen? You need not be terrified, by nuclear weapons, because they cannot kill your soul, which is the real you. Once you have 100% faith, in God, you will fear nothing and no one. Do not be afraid of those who can kill your body, fear only those who can kill your body and soul, the real you, with the fire, Matthew 10:28. In other words, do not fear humans, or human death, or the devil, fear only that you may be found unworthy on the last day, and that your soul will be killed, in the fire, by God and the Lamb, Prince Michael slash Christ. God could not make sex unlawful, only fornication, because of the need for human reproduction, and because he wanted a man and woman to become one, and help each other, to create a stable, loving relationship, and family unit, into which children could be born. The children could then grow up in love-filled and harmonious surroundings, with a balanced outlook on life, having a solid foundation, on which to build, in their adult life. Having been taught already, the values of love, God, instead of the values of this world, mammon, by their parents' example, in both words and deeds, they could then go out into the world, with a balanced mentality, and teach their own children, from their own experience, and perpetuate the process. Knowing that promiscuity would lead to all kinds of problems, and animal, instead of spiritual values, God destroyed Gomorrah, and left the story of its destruction, as a deterrent to future generations. He also left a legacy, to remind the world, to be faithful and to keep his laws. The legacy, to keep people on the right path, was called gonorrhea, gomorrhi. Promiscuity became more widespread, and so did gonorrhea, and God has sent progressively, stronger warnings, to try to keep people on the straight and narrow path, syphilis, non-specific urethritis, Vietnam rose and now herpes. He cannot blast the promiscuous now, without hurting innocent people, and, in any case, the last day is so close now, that he does not need to bother. Herpes is now turning many people away from promiscuity, as it was intended to do, and AIDS, even more so. Doctors and pharmacists will try to find cures, that will then help people to keep on being promiscuous, thereby helping Satan, instead of God. The Mound of Venus, leading to the sacred temple of love, which must not be desecrated, and or defiled, by strangers. Venereal diseases, sent by Venus. Open your eyes.